Hello, my friends, my buddies. This might be my last day in the hospital, and I'm finally in a private room. Well, I just don't have a roommate, so private enough for me. Um, I came to the hospital Monday, with pain, and they found from an ultrasound that I had a very large gallstone. So, Dr. Trevetti tried to see if he could get me to have the gastric surgery, and he said it was impossible. He was just going to take my gallbladder out, which I really didn't want to do because then I knew I'd have to come back in a month and have to recover from that a couple of days, and, and then a month later maybe get my surgery done. Um, then the nurse came in later that Tuesday and said, guess what? You're going to have both surgeries on Thursday. And I was, yes, I had to have two surgeries. I just do it all at once. But I had to stay in the hospital. So I stayed in the hospital from today is Saturday. And that was Monday. <clears throat> I'm still kind of hoarse. Let me barometer here. That was really weak. Hold on. The letter. Ooh, 1500. <clears throat> I was very hoarse from the anesthesia. So, um, I went pre-op. They gave me some Lovenox, and I don't even really remember, not Lovenox, they gave me something. And I don't remember even going under. <laughs> it was that quick. And here's my pretty bruise from my central line, which was from my BP, and here's an IV, and then I have this, um, which is a pick line, uh, since they couldn't get IVs here, or here, or here, or here, and the one here was too old after a couple of days, some more scars, this is the worst, but it's very annoying because my hair gets in the way and then it gets worn down and it pulls on things. Um, but they can draw blood from this, they can put IV into it, they can put two, um, you know, I think it's three lumens. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so it was very sleepy when I got out of anesthesia, but I, I was in pain. And they moved me up here, that was so painful. They had not put me on the drip yet, they had just given me a couple of shots of Ferenzol or Ferenzol. Ferenzol is iron. A um, couple of shots of painkillers, not on the drip. So when they moved me from one bed to the other, I was dying in pain. So they fixed that right away. It was very painful. I just kept hitting my button. Everything was kind of a blur. But then they told me that I had a hernia, a hiatal hernia, that was big enough to drive a car through, that's what my surgeon's PA said, and that at a golf sound that was this big, like a ping pong ball, golf ball, and that my gallbladder was like the size of a sausage, it was like this big, and I'm like, you didn't save it? You didn't show it? Um, so that was fun. So, but everything went good, well, everything's fixed. I have like nine incisions, I think, which is more than they normally do, but because of the two other operations along with the sleeve surgery, that's what they did. Oh, and I can't reach my pillow. I got a cool pillow that says, shows what they did in my sleeve and for people to sign it and my book on what to eat. And these are my cups. I can have 30 over 30. So 30... MLs, which is the total of this cup, for 30 minutes. So I was kind of full from taking my meds because they had to be crushed and they were in applesauce. So I haven't been drinking the past half hour because I was feeling kind of sick from it. So that's the 30. It's a crystal light lemonade. And that's it. And then I'll take another sip in a couple minutes. So they make you walk and everything, and that was hard at first, but it got easier and easier, and it does make you feel better. And you get pain in your shoulders, 
really bad pain from the air, the gas, and then I have a drain. This might make it gross. That has this stuff, which is blood, and gets sucked out. And um, I got a Lovenox shot so I don't get blood clots, which is really doesn't hurt at all. You shoot it right in your belly, it didn't hurt at all. Um, I think I'm going to go home tomorrow morning. So that'll be good. And if I'm not ready, I'm sure they'll let me stay another day. But I think I'll be okay to go. Uh, the hardest thing right now is just the uh, crushed up paint meds because they're gross tasting and it's a lot to get them down because the more you mix it, the more it takes you to get it down because there's too much stuff and you can't do it all at once. So I preferred it when they were just putting it right in my IV. But no luck. This can't happen when I'm home. And it goes right in my ID, but I'm going to see if I can get, um, go to a certain pharmacist who make liquid forms of medications. So I hope I can get that. It won't taste that great, but at least it'll be totally, won't be gritty and um, have some bubblegum flavor to it or something. <sighs> it hurts to take deep breaths. Very sore. And I think also for this from the chest tube. So I've only really been taking, you know, I think 200 calories a day max. I had like a boost drink that had 220 calories and I had broth, oh, these little cups. So I'm really not taking any calories except for whatever is in my IV, which probably isn't anything either. It's just like potassium chloride. Um, I had some really great nurses here. Uh, they did really good. I had one bad experience, but it was also because I was exhausted and I slept all day pretty much today because I was just so tired. And that was good. Now I feel much better. And, um, yeah, it's going to be hard. But I feel like, oh, I'm so great if I'm just laying here. But then once I get up walking, I get tired very fast because I'm so sore. Um, it's hard. It's really hot in here, too. It's like 90 degrees outside, and it's hot in the hospital. But it's nice to have my own room for one night. Hey! So it's hard to say if I definitely would do this again. I, I don't know. I still feel like I'm not ready. I'm not prepared in some ways. Like, I need to go buy certain things, otherwise this won't work. It will. It's just me being paranoid. And I'm hoping that Michael's cleaning up uh, the house while I'm here. It'd be nice to come home to a clean, clean house. Um, but I met a couple of really nice people, roommates, and a couple of whack jobs roommates. So you get the, you know, the luck of the draw, best way to say it. So. I have an older video I'm going to post also with this one sometime next week when I'm home and bored. Right now it's too hot in here for me to think about it. Um, <clears throat> I haven't weighed myself yet. I guess they'll weigh me tomorrow before I leave. Uh, I'm not sure. But it'll be nice to see. Like I know some people lose 20 pounds in a week, some people lose 20 pounds in a month. If I'm only intaking this much, I don't know. And it'll be interesting to see how much I lose. Thanks for all your support, guys. I'm gonna be skinny. Maybe.